Hi guys, today we're going to make a bench vise using some quick clamps and some scraps of wood you probably have laying around your shop. You can use any brand of quick clamp that you want as long as it has a removable end which converts it from a clamp to a spreader. You need this so that you can index the end up and down the bar. I'm going to use some Bessie clamps because they sent them to me and as they say, they're simply better. If you want to see how I did it, stick around. When you're done grinding off the stops, you should be able to remove and slide the stop end of your clamp up and down freely. Now you can stop there, or you can choose to grind off the other end so that you have a little bit more clamping space on the bar. I am going to remove this, because you can see the clamp only goes so far on this. I want to remove that so I can move the clamp all the way to the end and not have that as a hip piercing hazard on the vise. Over at the drill press, I'm going to drill a series of holes so that you can index down the clamp stop and minimize the amount of bar that's sticking out the end of your vise. When you're done drilling all your holes, your bar should look like this, with six holes on one side of the bar. Now seeing that I want the foot of the clamp about in the middle of the vise, I am marking out on the back side approximately where the bar is going to go through. And I'm going to drill and then I'm going to cut this whole notch out on the bandsaw so that this will basically drop onto the bars of the clamp. How you attach your vise to the workbench could vary for each of the different styles of workbenches there are. What I'm going to use is a bunch of these 2x4 blocks with a slot for the bar to go through and I'm going to knock a corner off of the longest diagonal of this piece so that you can rotate it up and into where you need to be. And the way these clamps are, you need to be able to access this rotating knob to index this piece up and down the bar so the bar isn't sticking way out into the workshop. And originally I tried to mount this upside down, but it made the clamp skew a lot when I applied any pressure. So I'm going to mount them both like this on the inside, and I cut a hole in the bottom of my cubby here, which just doesn't actually affect the integrity of the workbench at all. This was more of a dust catcher situation if I ever did drill clamping holes in the top. So now I can reach through the bottom and adjust the clamp bar as I need to index the vise in and out. To get the vise as stable as you possibly can, you don't necessarily want a large hole like this. You want something snug that won't allow the bar to rotate so much as when you have multiple of these 2x4s in place. So I'm going to actually use the bar to set this up. I'm going to mark the width of the bar, and I already have set up on the drill press table the middle of this piece so I just can put the block in place. You know what would make this process a lot nicer? A vise. Making dove holes. I wonder if Matt Cremona feels like this when he's doing all his hand carving. In the end, you want a nice snug fit for your clamp. I think with a little wax, that'll slide along just, just great. 
Now that I got all my braces cut, I am going to put them into the workbench and attach them one at a time. So what I'm gonna do is put in one and rotate one in right behind it. I want to attach the vise head to the clamps themselves so when you pull the clamps back it pulls the whole vise open in one piece and it doesn't drop down because I do have a little bit of a gap over the bar. What I'm going to try to do is put some holes through here and use some pocket screws to try to attach it all. I'm not totally convinced that's going to work but there's only one way to find out. The assembly portion of this vise is done, and I gotta say, so far so good. Um, putting the screws in the front worked, but it did sag a little bit, like I was kind of expecting, but it does straighten right up when you clamp down on the vise. I don't really see myself doing any wide stuff this way. Uh, when you do clamp down on that, you do see the, the vise skew a little bit, but it does hold it just fine. Most of what I think I'm gonna do is going to be holding something this way or this way, or maybe clamping like a trim router in here to do some light router work. It was a big pain in the neck to adjust these bars originally trying to tighten that knob in blindly. So I put some marks on the inside of the bar so that I have a soft set point so I can adjust the bar and then reach behind here and tighten those. I am gonna give it a light sanding and put some varnish on the outside to protect it a little bit. But before I do that, let me show you how it works. Reach in the back and adjust these knobs to the open position. The knob on this side is a bit of a pain in the neck, but having done it a few times now, it gets easier each time I do it. So let's adjust the vise in to clamp, say that 2x4 width-wise. I'm going to adjust in until one of these lines is right outside the backboard of the vise. Then I'm going to index the back up and tighten that down. There's one. probably a good idea to keep these out of the way. For safety purposes, of course. You guys know what I mean. There you have it, guys. A bench top vise made from some scraps you have laying around the shop and some readily available quick clamps. Quite pleased with how it turned out. It does skew a little bit more than I would have liked when you clamp a wider piece, but I don't really see myself using something like that often, if ever, in the shop. For me, it'll be the typical 2x4, 2x6 that I just need a third hand to work on. I would like to direct you guys down in the description for some other guys that have built vices just like this. I got a lot of inspiration from them. So you should definitely go check them out and give them a thumbs up. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. Please hammer my thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. I'm DIY Tyler, and we'll see you guys next time.